Hi guys, Jenny here. This is my Trade Wind Scrappers November mini album swap and this album was made for Carol in Western Australia. Just cutting my paper at the moment and I'm using the Classic Mix Designer Paper Pack by Crafty Bits. That's a really pretty vintage looking collection and it looks like it's textured but it's not it's a really smooth finish um, and I like the look of textured uh, papers now just swapping my paper trimmer blades over I have a small stock uh, of used blades that I use for cutting my chipboard pieces. So don't throw your blades out once they start destroying your paper. They're really good to use on your chipboard. Uh, now just cutting out the sections for the mini door that I'm going to put on the uh, front of the album. Just putting my good blade back there. Cleaning up as I go. Uh, now preparing to uh, paint a base coat on the chipboard using Joe Sonia's Artist's Gouache acrylic paint. I'm just um, spraying my brush with some water. The base coat colour I'm using is Burnt Sienna and then just um, turned it over and painted the other side the same colour and now applying a layer of crackling medium and this is a, a really um, inexpensive alternative to using um, than using Tim Holtz's Distress Crackle Paint. The only downside is the time it takes to cure. Once you um, apply your layer there you have to wait three hours for it to cure before you can paint your top coat over that. Um, whereas with your Distress Crackle Paints minimal um, drying time. Uh, just applying the top coat there and it's in raw umber so it's a darker shade of the brown so once the crack, crackling medium dries um, the lighter colour will appear through the cracks made by the crackling medium um, just oh, attaching the hinge here I'm using my paper piercing tool to pierce holes there and now attaching mini brads And now just piercing the holes, lining them up on the other side piece and attaching those with more mini brads. And you'll see the um, page there, the front cover. I did a video uh, in a couple of parts on YouTube called Distressed Corrugated Page. Um, and I just crimped some cardstock using my paper crimper and then sandwiched it between two uh, plain pieces of cardstock and then distressed it. So check that out. Uh, that's just an alternative to using um, corrugated cardboard. Now just piercing a hole and inserting a, a Tim Holtz hitch fastener. Now I'm stamping 
the word life on the top of that door and that stamp is from um, the live like you mean it stamp set from Stampin Up and just ap applying some clear embossing powder on that and then you, I don't show it in the video but I actually I heat emboss it using my embossing tool now applying uh, some embossing uh, sorry some gemstone glue to the left side of that mini door and then I set it aside to dry and then turned it over and now stamping some clock faces on the underside of the cover and the ink I'm using is a sand beige versicolor ink and uh, that's just a foam piece I put under that page to help the stamp image um, on the cover and now just stamping a smaller clock face in the same ink and I tended to throw out uh, my original packaging for my stamp so I can't remember um, where I got the stamp set from or who it's made by uh, I don't throw the packaging out now just stamping the clock hands there I do have a smaller acrylic block just wasn't handy at the time yeah the lace flower uh, you'll see on the this page I did glimmer mist with creme de chocolate uh, but my video camera was turned off and I didn't realize it now just distressing the edges of the page with um, vintage photo distress ink that's that page those two pages done so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for part two bye